I was conscious in my mother's womb. On one side, I wanted to express myself as a human being. Yet, on the other side, I didn't. Because I felt I was spirit. Yogananda happens to be what I would call a spiritual prodigy. Steve Jobs apparently had only one book on his iPad, the autobiography of a yogi. The LA Times called him the first superstar guru of the 20th century. Through this body, many shall receive the spiritual enlightenment of India. God is taking me away to America. Yogananda arrives in Los Angeles, and on the first night, over 6,000 people attend his talk. Yogananda came and brought us a truth, a universal truth that no one can escape. Here is a small brown mystic from a nation that very few Americans had ever been to. And he is here delivering his message with such force that he's making converts by the thousands. He was put on a government watch list and kept under surveillance. There was literally a war against yoga being waged in the media. I am going through the severest trial of my life. Yoga has become something that you do with your body, but it's really about the mind. Yogananda said that there was a secret link between the body and the spirit. The technique of meditation, recharging the body battery with cosmic energy, well, it is not a creed or dogma, but the science of the soul and spirit. If I hadn't read that, I'd just be, you know, some horrible person. While he was writing the autobiography, we set off the first atomic bomb. The need for the teachings was more urgent than ever. He always said, the man who can reform himself can reform the world. The physical world is not the highest reality. There's something beyond that that we can partake of.